Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today is day 20 of the 30 day juice challenge. So 10 days left and it's getting so sad. The challenge is gonna uh, end, but don't quit juicing, keep on juicing. Um, this is just gonna be the end of the challenge. And today we've got a delicious, I've never had it before, but it sounds delicious. Um, beet, it's called beetnik. Uh, beetnik juice should make about 30 ounces. Uh, ingredients are one apple, uh, one beetroot, eight medium carrots, and two stalks of celery and three cups of spinach. Uh, but let's get this uh, juice recipe underway. So I got a birthday party to attend to. Let me give you guys some of the uh, health benefits of this juice. Uh, it's, it's good for uh, a blood cleanse. Uh, beets have been shown to help cleanse the blood, cleanse the colon which is big, which is key. A lot of people are having issues with digestion. And as you know, uh, digestion happens in the intestine and the colon. So if you can get your intestines cleaned out and your colon cleaned out, you should be on your way to uh, a lot better health. Any of the sicknesses that, are, uh, that you're suffering from can be cured right here in the gut and in your colon. Um, so this is great, juice and beets. Uh, cleanse the colon and strengthen the gallbladder and liver. The high grade content of iron and spinach makes it a great blood builder. It regenerates and reactivates the red blood cells and supplies fresh oxygen to the body. The high content of iron in beets regenerates and reactivates the red blood cells and supplies fresh oxygen to the body. The copper content in beets help make the iron more available to the body, a great blood builder. It's also a liver cleanse. The cleansing virtues in beets juice is very healing for liver toxicity and bile ailments like jaundice, hepatitis, food poisoning, diarrhea, and vomiting. And of course, a lot of other stuff I'm not going to list because we've all already gone over a lot of that stuff. Um, you know what? I've got all these uh, beets right here. I've got all these smaller beets. But I think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna take that big one. Yeah, I like that big one. I'm gonna juice that one. I'm actually really, really hungry right now. Go figure. You just you got. I have days where uh, where I don't really require much of juice, and I have days where I just get really hungry. Today is one of those hungry days. I posted on Facebook. Um, I've already had three juices today. I still have my my mean green juice that I haven't drank yet. But, the last juice I drank was at 11:45, uh, and the time is almost four o'clock right now. So it's a good uh, four hours ago that I had any juice. But I started off today with with the fresh start juice. It was only 20 ounces. Um, no, it was more like 18 ounces. It was uh, apple, carrots, and celery. Two apples, three carrots, and four celery. And that was my breakfast this morning. I had that at around uh, 7 o'clock. And then uh, a little bit later on, I had, uh, you know what? Oh, that's in there. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture of this for my, uh, for my Facebook group. Yeah. Uh, I started a, a Facebook uh, support group it's called uh, Juicing for Health. And uh, I was encouraged by some members to, to do that so I can, you know, 
provide support. It's basically a support group, help people get through it, um, lead each other on. Yeah, but um, I'm just posting like some juices that I do throughout the day, uh, so people can get motivated to juicing or to keep juicing. But anyways, back to my story about uh, my meals for the day. So I first one, I had 18 ounces around 7 o'clock this morning, and then uh, it was about 9 o'clock, so two hours later, I had a uh, second juice, which was uh, my homemade V8 juice, which also had beets, tomatoes, uh, celery, carrot, spinach, and I think we put some parsley or kale in it. Parsley, kale, Sylvia made cilantro. it for me this morning. Uh, oh, by the way, I know I'm getting sidetracked here again, but uh, I did uh, I did film this, me and Sylvia, we took the liberty of filming a juice prep video at about, we started at about 5.55 in the morning, and we, we filmed all the way to about 6, 6.34, so it took us about 30, 38 minutes. Uh, to do my four juices for the day and that was you know starting from scratch pulling everything out of the refrigerator getting everything ready um, juicing everything of course and then uh, washing washing the juicer down of course we used the breville this morning because that would go a lot quicker and then uh, I took the I took the leftovers out to the compost uh, because somebody on Facebook uh, asked to see that, so I'm putting that. I'm gonna put that video together. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna edit that one and make it kind of nice. I'll probably put a little bit of music to it and speed it up because uh, it was it was kind of long. So uh, yeah, look for that one. That one that one should be coming out maybe uh, tomorrow. But be ready with that one. Maybe my daughter can help me with the editing. Right, Portia? Yeah. <laughs> right, so we got one beet. I forgot the rest of the egg. One beet, one apple. This is a big apple. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to make a stop down at Costco yesterday because uh, we were running low on apples. I have, I have four pink ladies left. A lot of these juice recipes on the 30 day challenge call for a lot of apples, like the apple crisp calls for five apples. I I have never had so many apples. Mm -hmm. Normally I just have the two apples in the carrot and apple juice and then one apple in the mean green, right? So one, to two, one to two, depends. I normally have like two two apples a day. Now I'm on doing these uh, exotic recipes. I, I like to keep things simple. Um, I, like I said, I've been doing the, I tell people I've been doing the same, uh, four, I want to say four recipes because I, I do, I try to have four juices a day, but I've been doing the same four, I mix it up, five or six different recipes, I've been having the same ones for a year, which is basically the carrot and apple, the mean green, the V8, banana smoothie. That's what, I, that's what I have, basically. And that's how the prepping goes a lot faster, too. And that's why the prepping goes a lot faster. Uh, or I'll mix it up with the orange juice. Mm -hmm. I love, love, love. You guys have seen my orange juice video. You guys know how much I love orange juice. Um, or I'll mix it up with the grapefruit juice. But I've been keeping it simple for a year and five months. I haven't really dabbled in exotic juices like we're doing here through these juicerecipes.com. So I just want to let you guys know that this is not really, you don't have to be creative with the juices. You know, I've made it for a year and five months off of just basically four different juices. Um, and let's see, eight carrots. Small carrots. Might use those right now. Oh, almost done here. Well, okay. 
I got sidetracked. I was telling you about my juices for the day. Yes, I had the, uh, the V8 around 9. And then at 11.45, I had the carrot and apple. And oh, it was so good. So good, the carrot and apple. It just like gave me a shot of energy. And, and I had, I was having a great day today. I mean, my mentality was just on point. I was just feeling a really positive vibe about everything. And uh, I think maybe it was due to um, the Juicy Support Group. You get a lot of feedback from people, a lot of, a lot of people cheering me on, telling me what a good job I'm doing. And, and I try to pass that on to other people, let them know they're doing good too. Because uh, yeah, it, just, it, does, it really does give you a boost of energy when you're around people that are juicy. So I do recommend, if you haven't, get involved in a juicing support group. I found I found one on Facebook called uh, Fat Sick and Every Day Juicing Support Group. Of course, I started one uh, myself called Juicing for Health. So I highly recommend you get involved with one of those if you guys are struggling through your juicing. Yes, yeah, so I haven't had a juice in four hours and I'm feeling hungry. And I know there's, I mean, there's days where I'll just have two juices for the whole day and I'll be fine. I won't need. So what did you have after your carrot and apple? That was the last one I had, 11.45. What did you have, a nine again? Huh? At 9 a.m., what did you have? At 9 a.m., I had the, the, the V8. Oh, the V8. The first one was the first start. Mm. And, uh, yeah, so, like I was saying, I didn't care. Like I was saying, there's days where... Well, I won't eat a lot of juices. But, we you know what I'm thinking? It's because I'm doing... I'm back to work and I'm doing my, I'm working and I need, I need fuel while, while I'm at work. So I'll take my three juices and I'll come home and I'll film, I'll film the fourth juice the, on the 30 day challenge that I'm doing for YouTube. And I'm still, I'm, so that's my four, four juices. And, but I can't forget about my, my juicing support group, juicing for health. I'll do another juice for them. So I'm getting, my body's getting accustomed to having five juices. I had, five, I had five juices yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I woke up today and I just wanted to I just wanted to go with those juices. I was just feeling hungry, but I was feeling really good. And that's okay. It's just juice. As you guys are getting juice in, you know, don't starve yourself. Of course, I do notice that I'll I will lose more weight if I cut back on the juices. Let's say do, you know, keep it to four. When I start doing five, I, I'll probably start plateauing out, not losing weight. Uh, but that's fine. If your body needs, uh, if your body needs extra, if you're feeling hungry. Give it a juice. Better than, you know, a cheeseburger, some pizza, or a burrito, which I love, I love burritos. I love bean and rice and bean burritos. Uh, so we have carrots, two stalks of celery. One, two. Chop this bad boys up. Great day at work today. Lots of energy. Just positive overall. Everything positive.
you know what? I want to kind of want to give a shout out to the girl who recommended me from Texas, uh, Vero. Uh, ooh, I hope I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Vero Mika. Coming all the way from Texas. Of course, my brother's out there in Texas. Um, she saw me on the Fat Sick and Nearly Dead. And I guess she liked what I had to say. and She told me to start this group so I can help her and help other people, guide them, um, because I've been doing this for a while. Uh, but uh, how you doing, Beto? Hope everything's good. Hope you're juicing. And uh, uh, stay on it. Also, uh, another person from the group, um, Roman, Roman and Monica, uh, what's the last name? Sorry. Roman and Monica. I think it's Monica, the one that's uh, juicing. So shout out to her. She's in the group. Shout out to my friend Jason. My friend Jason uh, Howdigan. Uh, last I talked to him, he's down 40 pounds. And he's only been, I think he's on his fourth week already. Wow. Yeah, I think he's on his fourth week. Shout out to Jason. Good job, buddy. So we got the uh, celery in there. Now we just need last ingredient, three cups of spinach. I think I'm not going to use this uh, fresh spinach that we got from the farmer's market yesterday. I want to show you guys I put these in water, keep them nice and fresh and crispy. They don't get wilty. I'm going to use this spinach because we got this uh, from Costco. I think, uh, I think I bought it on Monday, so today's Friday. So let's try to get rid of all this. I need three cups. Three cups is right there. Three cups. <laughs> four, but it's good fun. enough. <laughs> Extra vitamins never hurt nobody. Plus, I'm dropping them all over here. I think this is actually my first time using this uh, baby spinach that I got from uh, Costco in the Green Star. I normally use it in the Breville. Um, or when I use when I when I'm juicing my spinach, I normally uh, I normally use the the stuff I buy from the farmers market, which is a lot more leafy. I think you guys have seen it, but let me show you guys the difference here. So that's just the difference. It comes with the roots and everything. Mm, let me zoom in, okay? okay. Yeah. Just comes with the roots. And it's not so small. This is more like baby spinach. This is a lot larger. I really like these for, for juicing. Last last week I bought uh, three bunches of those for five dollars. Was it three bunches for five dollars? And uh, one of these days I'm going to take you guys on a uh, a, shop, a grocery haul. I'll take you guys to uh, the, the farmers market where we get our stuff, and then uh, maybe take you guys to Costco where we get the majority of our stuff. The majority of our stuff comes from, from the farmer's market, Costco, and BJ's health food store. Every once in a while, we, we'll stop off at Walmart or Target or something, or Winko. I get my cucumbers there, or even Stater Brothers. I shop around because uh, when, you're, when, you're, when you're looking for healthy food, you find that it's not always easy. 
you have to go around organic, especially if you're trying to get all organic stuff. It's kind of fun though too. Yeah, it is. It's, it's exciting. It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roman and Monica uh, Phelan, Phelan, Phelan. That's funny, Roman. Uh, my mother's maiden name is Roman. So mm -hmm. we have something in common. It's spelled the exact same way. Um, I think it's Monica is the one that's into juicing. So uh, I want to give a shout out to them because I've been really uh, having a lot of contact with uh, Monica. Um, I've been helping, you know, commenting a lot on her posts. She's been commenting a lot on my posts. And uh, Vero Nika. Please uh, correct me if I'm pronouncing your last names wrong. Uh, so shout outs to Vero, uh, uh, Roman, and Monica Phelan, and my buddy Jason Howdygit. And uh, I can't forget his wife Judy, who's also on the juice, juicing. So um, can't wait to see your guys' results. And go ahead and post some results, you guys. It amps me up when I see uh, people doing well, like my friend Jason. Doing so good on the juice guys. I mean, and he's. I want to say something about you, Jason. That is really, really strong. The way you just like jumped into this juice fast, and already you're on four weeks. And uh, I mean, you haven't said anything about falling off the wagon yet. Um, I want to congratulate you for that because, as you all, you guys, I've heard my story. When I first started, I made it four days. And then I went to uh, Guadalajara's uh, Mexican Grill um, for a family gathering, family birthday. And then I tried to get back on the juicing. Every, every time that I stopped juicing, juice fasting, it was really difficult for me to get back on. It took me a month to get back on. Um, it's just, it just works out that way. It's kind of hard. And I um, think you go through the wit withdrawals again every yeah, time? Yeah, I go through the withdrawals again. <laughs> uh, you know, I start getting the headache and you know, feeling sick when I start back up. So I recommend if you want to stay on a, a prolonged juice fast, stay on it. Don't stop. But if you do stop, it's fine. I, you know, it happened to me. Let me taste this. Good. Ooh, sweet. I like it. It's good. So yeah, if, if you feel like, um, you know, Monica, that you were saying that you feel like you're going to stop because you completed your five days, and congratulations for that. You know, if you, if you don't have a, a huge weight issue like I had, or a health issue like I had, go ahead and stop. I mean, that's fine. You've accomplished what you wanted to accomplish. If you want to stop, go ahead and stop. Just keep daily juicing, adding a juice. You don't have to juice fast, but keep daily juicing. Um, so, yeah, just... Listen to your body and uh, go by what your body's telling you. If your body's telling you you want some food, go ahead and get some food. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoy this recipe. It's called the Beat Nick. And uh, uh, cheers to your health. See you. Bye.